she's coming out, she's coming out, she's coming out. It's there. Oh. All right, um, hello, and this would be part 30. And uh, because it's, I guess, a five milestone type thing, I'm going to be uh, slightly fixing and putting up uh, my dot GMK. Uh, now, uh, what's going to happen is it's going to be the same link as the old one. I'm gonna post a link in the description, but I'm going to change the file, so that way it'll be update. Um, if you have not already downloaded the other one and you go to the same link then you should be fine but make sure I'll add in the description of the game on yo-yo games since that's what I'm gonna upload it to um, one it'll take 24 hours to virus scan so you'll have to wait until about 24 hours after this video because I want to get the video up sooner because that's what I promised and um, I'm going to just post a thing for the next 24 hours it won't be available but after that you should be able to go and download it and it'll be the full GMK uh, with images, sprites, etc. It will not include the animation simply because I cannot include that in the GMK unless I put it all in a zip file. And I'm going to change the engine so it does not play a video. Uh, you can watch my cutscene video if you want to do your own cutscenes, but the animation will just make the file a little bigger than it has to be, and then I have to put in other files too, and it just gets overcomplicated and expands the size too much. So, um, in this video, we're going to be doing three different requests, two of them very simple that I just got yesterday, another one I've been putting off, sorry. Um, they are uh, changing the little make thing in the last video. Uh, we made it so the buildings slowly make themselves instead of doing immediately. One of the requests right after that video was to replace the making wheel with the progress bar, so we're, we did that. And uh, the other thing is uh, making it uh, uh, a population cap. Uh, the population cap is you can only have X amount of units per buildings, and I made it so you can identify which buildings uh, if affect it. You can individual, you can do it individually, and um, what else? Um, let's see what else. Um, okay, well, oh, and. Uh, the enemy underscore nat works as a worker. It will create a base uh, whenever there isn't one. So if there's a nat and you kill their base, or at the start of the match you don't have a base, it'll create one. Um, um, so there you have it. Um, going to let's see. So to start off, um, you do not necessarily. What the hell's going on? Okay, music just started playing. Forgot to pause it. Um, okay. Bar. I made it 64 by 16, which seems like a very good height for the size building, because the building's 64 pixels wide. Uh, you will remember that we have a health bar, which is uh, 16 wide by 4 high. You can use this. I decided making it a little bit higher made it a little bit more easy to see. You could get a little bit better graphic out of it, and uh, I liked it a little bit better. Do what you want. Um, for objects, we are going to need a, uh, I believe it's one new object. Where is it? Two new objects, actually. Um... Uh, we're going to do the progress bar first. Uh, progress bar, you just need to duplicate making and name it progress bar. And uh, what you do is, uh, we give it the sprite bar, whatever you did, or whatever sprite you want to use, and in the create, we still have alarm 0 equals 100. And then in alarm 0, we have instance underscore destroy, which is exactly how uh, the making is. The difference is we had a step event with a transform sprite uh, block which you can get to from, uh, I think it's main one, yep, main one under sprite, it's the middle one, transform sprite, just drag it over, and you get this box, it applies to self, y scale is one, and x scale is a little bit complicated, but it gets the job done, in parentheses, 100 minus alarm, bracket zero, so alarm zero, and then m parentheses divided by 100, so what it'll do is, if our alarm is at 100, it'll take 100 minus 100 is 0 and do 0 divided by 100 which is 0. So our scale for x is 0 which means it's invisible. Then when it'll get 1 it'll be a hundredth of the size. Then when it's at 50 it'll be half of the size. And when it's at 75 three quarters. 
and it'll go for each step of the alarm, all 100 steps, and we'll auto size it for you. We're going to scale just like we did the health bar except now we're going to be able to use the alarm variable to do it. We don't have to add any other variables or fancy stuff. So that's the progress bar. Now to actually implicate the progress bar, we go into making underscore main, and in create, we just have to change the instance underscore create. Uh, in, in parentheses, before we had x comma y comma making, now we have to change making into progress underscore bar, whatever you named your object, and then when I had to change the coordinates a little bit. If you're using 64, by 16 uh, uh, for your sprite image, then what will work best is x minus 32 comma y plus 16. Uh, this will move it down 16 and over 32, which will center it and put it at the bottom of your object, and you can see it will actually look really nice uh, when it's all done. Now the next thing you need to do is duplicate the making underscore main object so we can have a making underscore enemy underscore main which pretty much has most of the same things except it's slightly changed. Uh, I already did it so the progress bar works again. It's the same exact code uh, as that. No changes there. In alarm zero we have instance underscore change and instead of the uh, main underscore building we have main underscore enemy and then comma true. And then in step we have if alarm zero is less than 50 then we do uh, sprite underscore index but this time I had to change the sprite now it's main underscore enemy underscore two but the image speed is the same I kept the same exact animation I just changed the image a little bit uh, to be more specific I made it so the win if you remember from last video I made the window turn blue now it's turning red so that's what you could do with other things if you have a slightly colored different colored building but the same type of sprite then you can do that. Or if you're doing different races in your RTS and you have a different amount of sprites, that's you can implement the different sprites. Same stages, same code, just need to change the sprite name. So now we, we have a making underscore enemy. Now to actually make the building, we go into enemy underscore nat, and in the step event, we have this part right here, uh, just a slight black code at the end, if instance underscore number, and in parentheses main underscore enemy is less than one, and then in brackets, uh, curly brackets, of course. If underscore, I mean, uh, instance underscore create and in parentheses x comma y comma making underscore enemy underscore main and parentheses semicolon, then instance underscore destroy with uh, parent, open close parentheses semicolon and then end curly bracket. Uh, the reason why we can't change is because while it's changed, it'll still do the old uh, objects that it's doing as it's changing. So it, if it's moving around randomly, now all of a sudden your image angle is going to rotate and you're moving around randomly as a building, and you'll do the uh, for 100 steps, and then everything will go crazy and it'll delete itself and all this stuff. So instead, we create the object and destroy ourselves, and that way it won't have any confusing parts like that. And the last bit is underneath uh, GUI and make underscore worker or whatever you want to make. Uh, the difference is that we can change this a little bit. It's under left pressed and the first block of code. We have if global.fuel is greater than or equal to 100. And then we have what we used to have if working equals zero. Now we added a long if statement here. And we put it with the use and, the operation and. And in C programming, of course, AND is represented by uh, two AND symbols with this uh, shift 77. That, that'd be the equivalent. Um, so we put in the AND, so we have, uh, so if working equals zero, AND instance underscore number in parentheses attack underscore spot enemy. This is the object that follows each and every unit. So we're counting the amount of units we have. It is less than or equal to the instance underscore number building underscore main times four plus the instance underscore number building underscore garage times four. What this means is for each building, we get four units. Now, if you want to do this slightly differently, you can say you can, uh, you can take this part out and say we can have four units, four workers, uh, for if uh, we have enough buildings, uh, building mains. Or you can take out the building mains and say for garages. Or you can say some buildings don't count. For instance, let's say you have... Um, a uh, uh, store merchant thing that does your economy or something like Age of Empires has that won't have a place for units to sleep so it wouldn't you wouldn't want to include it in the uh, how many units you can have but however building underscore main 
which is like your base and your garage would have spaces for your units to sleep so they should count to to your unit count and etc etc uh, so and you can identify even more like you can only have so many workers if you have so many mains and you can only have so many uh, fighters if you have so many garages uh, etc etc so you just have to play with the math a little bit that's what I did I made both of those buildings equal four and fuel not do anything so I actually have to show you all of this and the way I did that was I set it up um, so we can do it on each uh, stage except for stage two stage two is gonna be a waste or no I'll just okay so um second thought it might be easiest to show you on stage two so we're gonna kill this guy and go to stage two okay and we're going to build our main building and uh, we're getting this oh crap we can't do that uh, quit play stage one alright so we're gonna do it on stage one now um, we're going to build our main building and you'll notice we already have two units and since we only have one building this um, uh, main building right here that means we only have um, we can only create two more units now I made the fuel be 300 so that way you can see the reason that we can't build the unit is um, the uh, code we added and not the lack of fuel so when I click on this and I click on that it just disappears it won't create a new unit because we have four units our boss which is one and then we have uh, three of these guys four units total so um, there you have that it actually works and the progress bar went across the thing I hope you saw that and uh, now we need to kill this guy and go through stage two then I'll go to stage three where we can see the uh, enemies actually making buildings alright so let's make our building again to get through this one you need to get 300 ore even though it takes you 200 to uh, make the building but whatever probably should have made it slightly easier to pass this one okay go ahead and make another one get some ore there, you can get some ore there and as soon as this guy gets back to the base to go around that unit and there we go uh, so next and you'll notice that this actually started right away um, now we have a working uh, capital base building type thing and when they go off they respawn near there uh, because there's no uh, instance for uh, enemies that they can shoot at, it shoots at uh, zero zero that's a default thing uh, so I don't have anything like if I uh, make a unit um, they'll start shooting that instead of zero zero see they all started going towards this now alright so uh, those are three quick changes three quick requests um, I know I have some uh, more uh, more requests um, that's part 30. In the next 24 hours, a virus scan should take effect, and you should be able to download the new .gmk. I'm going to be uploading it with this video. Like I said, you'll have to wait a little bit to download it. So, But the thing's right in the description. Yo-Yo Games virus scans it, so you don't have to worry about that. And it is a .gmk, not a .exe. So that way you can use this source to uh, look at your game and get some source ideas and branch off on your own. Um, so that's it for now. I don't know when I'm going to be uploading a new video, probably within the next week. Uh, if you are working on your own RTS and you think it's really good and it has awesome graphics and stuff, um, feel free to put it as a video response to any of my RTS videos. I will approve it, and I'll even give shoutouts to some good ones. So you can do that too. And once again, any requests, please let me know. And uh, thanks for watching.